Both my parents are Egyptian, which pretty much means they want me to get married and have kids, but they don't understand dating in the United States. My dad's always like, son, it does not matter what the person looks like. <laughs> the only thing that matters is money. I'm like, Dad, you know, what, what about happiness? Ah, uh, happiness is bullshit. <laughs> yeah. My mom, she's always like, Ronnie, you have to marry a good Muslim girl. Now that I'm living in Los Angeles, she's like, no, Ronnie, just don't be gay. <laughs> Remember, sausage is against our religion. <laughs> what? That's disgusting, Mom. Like, sometimes I think my parents want me to get married so badly, they're just going to throw me a surprise wedding. <laughs> I'll be in the supermarket, all of a sudden a girl wearing white will walk down the grocery aisle. My parents will pop out like, surprise! <laughs> it's your wedding. <laughs> Rani, meet Fatima, your new wife. She only speaks when you ask her a question. <laughs> Isn't that right? Jess, see? <laughs> Now go, make babies. <laughs> By the way, this is my dad's actual sign for make babies. <laughs> it's like he's mating calamari. This <laughs> so I was like, what, what, you don't want to be having making babies? That's what he does, is he asks me awkward questions, but then he asks me an awkward grammatical structure. he would be like, Ronnie, are you remember never to having to being using drugs? Like, whoa! First, tell me why you use four verbs in one sentence, Dad. That's what I want to know. Like, his accent ruined my life. He'd always try to tell me to find a girl with the three Bs. Brains, beauty, and personality. <laughs> well, I'm glad you guys are laughing. I usually tell that to an Arab audience. They're like, yes, yes, the advice, it's perfect. <laughs> what is the problem? And, I, and you know, now that I'm doing comedy and you know, with the internet and everything, I'm getting like emails from all over the world, especially the Middle East, and they're really hard to read, because they're always in English, but then there's a bunch of numbers thrown in. <laughs> right, because I don't know if you guys know this, you know, uh, the English alphabet doesn't have, uh, you know, letters for the sounds, <laughs> and all that. You know, we don't go A, B, C, E, F, G, we don't do that. So what Arabs do is they use these letters to kind of take the place of, or the numbers to take place of the letters. So I'm getting emails from some guy named Threedel. First time I thought it was like a cyborg from the future or something. It's like, no, 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 it's Adil, the three is Ain. Like whatever happened to spelling it A-A-A-A-D-E-L, Adil. It's the same button, just hold it down. Like, just because they're Arabic numerals doesn't mean you can use them wherever you want. You got that, 7 BB? I'm glad you guys got that. Thank you. You know, it, it was cool knowing a different language growing up. You know, I could always make fun of people behind their backs. But, like, my parents took it to a whole different level. They'd always make fun of my friends while they were in the room. You guys know what I'm talking about. You know, my friends would be sitting there and all they hear is, Ah, tach, mach, tach, Bobby, ah! And Arabic's an interesting language, you know? I mean, they have these expressions which, to me, I always translate, so it's really odd, like, you know, min aini di, la aini di. You guys know that one? From this eye to this eye. It means like they're pleased to do something for you, but it's always in the weirdest times. Like I ordered a sandwich at a restaurant, he's like, sandwich from this eye to this eye. <laughs> like, you know what? I don't want the sandwich. <laughs> and I don't want your eyes anywhere near that sandwich. <laughs> I always have trouble ordering too, because I don't read Arabic very well. You know, so I always have to read the English side of the menu which is sometimes harder to read than the Arabic side of the menu. Like one time on the top of the menu, the first thing on the English side, it said, Hamam we roz. They wrote it in Arabic. 
as if foreigners' only problem is the pronunciation. <laughs> My man, we rose well. The heck didn't you say so, boy? Let me get some molokeo with that.